So we've got the crock pot on in the caravan, so this will be for tea stroke supper. So in here we've got um, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, um, we've got stuffing balls, we've got um, lean beef cubes and dumplings and thick gravy. So that's going on and that will um, be on um, cooking slowly through the day so our dinner will be ready tonight. Yeah, that's the chair that we got from um, the range. I'll quickly show you it. I know the, the, um, the picture's upside down. It's the um, Galaxy Gaming Chair. We were obviously going into more detail when we get home. And I kept saying to hubby, I don't think it's going to go through the door. He said, yeah, if I can get through the door, the box can get through the door. And I said, thanks very much. Um, but this is what we want to do because we're going into Corby Town Centre this morning and obviously didn't want to leave it um, on the back seat. Also the fact that our boot is pretty full with luggage and everything and stuff that we don't need. So we're off now. It's not too bad, is it, my darling? Yeah. Let's just hope it's not gonna be like it was yesterday, snowing off and on. Um, you might have seen, this is how it's been going for the last, I would say, two days. It starts off really nice like this and then um, we have sleet, snow, we had hail yesterday as well. We had absolutely everything. So we're off now and we're going to Corby Town Centre. Not sure exactly how much I'm going to be um, filming. We shall see. There is a few people here. I was surprised because I thought maybe weather caught people off. It doesn't us, does it? We've been away when it's snowed before and things like that. So. Um, we're pretty lucky, we're, we're nice and toasty in our caravan. There's a lot of um, newer caravans actually are prepared for all weather, all seasons, aren't they? And usually you can tell the ones that don't mind caravanning because weather doesn't put people off. Um, occasionally I would say, oh, you know, like when we had all that snow and wind and sun and everything on Thursday, I was wondering, is it worth going? Um, I think if it was an legitimate reason, because we've been coming a fair few years and um, coming constantly, I think the owners will turn around and say, oh, we'll pass it over to another weekend if it was, say, illness or something like that. But most sites, they would say, um, no, if you don't come, you lose your money. Isn't that correct, Alain? because we've had um, it transferred before, especially through lockdowns and um, <coughs> when areas, and we were told if a particular area um, was on lockdown, but not others, um, they would actually, um, you know, refer the booking to another date. So we're just um, arriving at the car park. This is one thing that's different from where we live. I mean, we are a bit later than what we normally are. Is that clock right? Yep. Oh, I was just checking, <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. Um, but this cup always seems pretty empty. But I think that a lot of people tend to park um, where Home Bargains is. We tend to park here because I don't know whether it's slightly cheaper or not, or whether it's the same amount, but this just seems better for us. Although, we're hopefully, I don't know whether I'll do any filming, um, going to Home Bargains, because there's some um, actually tin stuff that I'd like that I couldn't get from our Home Bargains a fair few weeks ago. So again, I will try and do some filming as we're out and about going through Corby Town Centre.
now we're going to do this in reverse. We've got to get the um, game chair out of the caravan and put it in the back of the car. Oh, smell like casserole. There we are. Oh dear. Because often, especially when we used to be in Cornwall, <laughs> um, he said, it's a caravan, not a trailer. Didn't you, my darling? Yes. Still say it now. The stuff that we used to be back from um, Cornwall. It was okay when we was travelling back because we used to lay on the bed or on the floor in the caravan. But it was when we used to get back to lock up that we used to have to put it in the car as well as all the luggage and everything else that we don't keep in the caravan. Um, we pretty much got everything off our shopping list that we wanted. So um, hauls will either be coming up um in this video or separate i did do a bit of video in, in primark so i think primark and a few items i bought in primark will be in a separate haul right now for a next haul um i'm gonna i think i might do all the other pieces in one um video which is what was out and about today in corby town center um some of them we haven't bought a lot in the stores due to the fact we had some pieces on our list and it took us a while to find them so first of all pound stretcher and I've got two items here um, this is the hanging dimidifier um, helps um, to stop damp and condensation um, and it's this one and this these two items were if I didn't say from pound stretcher and I believe this was one pound 29 so this hangs up in the wardrobe just here in our caravan and then I just picked up foxy glass and mints which probably would have been cheaper in Poundland but these were one pound 25 so that were the only two items we got from um pound stretcher because the two items we went in all the shops even back home where we live was i wanted some gripper to go under um, a mat and also while we've been here um we needed some fuses as well um, which we actually got from wilco's um first of all um it's get a grip how much were these darling four pound 75 Right, there we are, and we've got two of these. Um, it's the gripper for the shelves, but they do go under um, carpets as well, is what we use, because we've been finding real hard job finding anything um, to go under the mats. Maybe we'd have to go to a proper carpet place, um, but this is very similar to what we've got under um, our rug in our bedroom, which is on laminated flooring. Um, but because we've got a larger mat now and the piece we've got is really old um, this is what we've got so we've got it in the black which you won't see um, and this is non-slip cushion mat 45 times 125 centimeters easy to cut the length cushions and protect surfaces non-slip surface holds items in place non-adhesive easy to clean so it, it does actually give you a lot of uses for um, utensil caddies, a pantry, small kitchen appliances, planters, camping, outdoor and boating. But like I said, um, we actually put it under our mats and we've actually got two of these. This is where we went into a number of stores to try and get it. And the other thing was the fuses, which were a pound each. So, yeah, and that was another shop we went in three or four different places to try and get fuses. So that was um, um, Wilco's. Um, now Poundland. Um, got a few items. And um, before anybody says, I've got two lots of these. Uh, first of all, we went in Poundland and we picked up one um, in case we couldn't get one in Home Bargains because I know... Before anybody says anything, I know they're cheaper in home bargains. But in Poundland, they're a pound, and we get through a lot of these. So just saying about those. Um, we've got the um, Telling the Time. This is age five to seven. 
um, I keep collecting these for our granddaughter and then I pass them on to um, our daughter-in-law who's got a box for these sort of books and this is telling the time mathematics and um, keeping things like this because um, she's four, she's five this year um, but due to the fact that how a birthday falls is the fact that obviously she starts school near enough a year later so it's all these sort of exercises and everything she is um sort of learning basic time now and she's got a clock um in her bedroom anyway so it's just one of those things and she had a watch at christmas so that was a pound I have this is another repeat buy and I think these are gorgeous for the spring summertime and also for Easter baskets. It's the Raspberry and Blossom Sensitive Imperial Leather Soap and look at the packaging on that. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So there's that one. This is something that sells out really quickly. It's the grass patch, 75 by 25 centimetres. I'm convinced this is smaller than what it used to be. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems smaller. But I get one of these in for projects because, as I say, it sells out really quickly. And I've got a couple of... Um, Easter things as I said I'm getting my Easter basket stuff this is the popping candy and I love the packaging on this again a pound and also they're tiny enough that they'll go in the individual small Easter eggs and then I've got the um, mallow bunnies as well because our granddaughter loves marshmallows so we've got those and then the last thing to go in Easter baskets as I said I tend to get these rather than eggs is the mini eggs bars of chocolate and we've got two of those and they were a pound each something i did miss out of um welco's i did put it down actually that i thought we got them from home bargains hubby thought they were from home bargains but they weren't they were from welco's they were originally two pounds 60 each um this is the Gillette shaving gel so you do pay a lot more for gel and beans it's leading May but they were half price so they were only £1.30 each so when I can get them pretty reasonable like that I do get these rather than the cheaper brand so said they were from Wilco's so the next bit is home bargains this is something about why sometimes it's nice to know or shop around and that's why I do like some of the comments that tell me about these things. I, said, I did get the other pack from Poundland due to the fact we sometimes we've been in stores think yeah we'll get it from a particular store then we go in there especially if it's not in the same sort of area and then find out you can't get it so um i think it's well worth even a pound but these were actually 69p from home bargains exactly the same item same make and everything so just to let you know um then i got this Again for our granddaughter's Easter basket, it's this um, spring um, milk bottle with the little rabbit, and it's got the pink straw and the, the lid, and that was 69 pence. Also, um, for our granddaughter, it's got milk chocolate eggs. I think this was one pound 19, I'm sure it was something like that. The little tin with um, just some little eggs in a little portion of eggs like that so i thought that was really sweet i say i did get the gingerbread one at christmas and that is the little rabbit for myself yeah it's another one of these um got something very simple this is more solid though and thicker i got something very similar but it was thinner and that one was from the range this one obviously is from home bargains and this was one pound 49 as you know i do like the wooden pieces and um i vowed i wasn't going to get any soap and i got one they did have some easter one but i love this and i think this might have been without looking at the receipt i think it might have been um 99p or a pound um i'll see if i can find it Ninety nine P. 
but I think this is going to look lovely for summer. I wasn't supposed to buy any more soaps because I've got plenty, but this is Imperial Leather. This is, says it's Be Happy. It could go for spring as well, beans. It's yellow and it's the um, it's Golden and Lemon Drops Hand Wash by Imperial Leather. And that is the packaging there. I think that's really gorgeous again. So I keep saying I shouldn't really buy any more soap, but luckily i'm not buying too many products it's mostly bubble bath and yes i was gonna get them from poundland but we hung on and we got them from um home bargains and these were 99p for the one liter so yes you might have seen my iceland food shop and i said about this one this is the soothing deep blue body and soul by astonish and then i've didn't see this one in Panland or Iceland or anything and this is the Pampering Body and Soul Pink Paradise Bath um, so again Astonish and the one litre for 99 pence um, I think I said previously as well this one they were charging 500 mils in Iceland for the same price and I've been getting that other one the orange one quite a bit so I was really pleased to get those so that concludes um, my mixed haul I think I've remembered everything hopefully I have um, I'm not sure if I'm finishing my video here or not um, so I'll leave it here so hopefully you've enjoyed this segment of my mixed haul